Joel Latender here. In this video, I'm going to show you why you should base your hallway off of your installation. I'm going to give you some tips on things that you need to look for during your layout process of things that you need to avoid during your installation. I'm also going to show you how to get started on that layout. how you do that. Hey guys, Joe Latender here. I'm going to show you how to get your layout started. I'm going to talk to you about why I, why I base my installations off of the hallway and you should too. I'm also going to share some tips with you on some things that you need to be sure that you avoid while you're figuring out your layout. You can get yourself into a position um, where you're not going to have some issues later on in your installation. Any surprises that might come up, we're going to talk about those so that you can avoid those. And so with that being said, here, let's watch. Basically what I'm doing is I'm measuring the hallway right now to try to find the center point. I got 47 inches. So I got 47 inches here and I measure the hallway in a couple of different spots just to see how straight it is. You can see I got 47 inches there. And a lot of times these shorter walls that are in between doors aren't very straight, but you can see that I still have 47 inches there. So if I want to divide that in half to get the center of this hallway, I come up with 23 and a half. Okay, so I know that people are wondering why the hallway, Joe, why? And I'm just gonna tell you right now, when you go into any house, the hallway is usually the focal point. There's always rooms that are going to be branching off of the hallway. The hallway is usually a big center point of most homes. And I like to base my layout off of that because everything really flows off of that hallway. You've got the bedrooms that flow off of it, the living room, family rooms, whatever it is. And it makes it so that you can control your size pieces down that hallway where it's going to really look nice. Also, it's going to help you control what your layout is going to be in the rest of the house. And it doesn't always work out where the hallway is in the center, but usually the hallway some way or somehow is going to be the focal point. You can see that I still have 47 inches there. So if I want to divide that in half to get the center of this hallway, I come up with 23 and a half. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do that. 23 and a half inches. So 47 divided by 2 is 23 and a half. So I make a mark there. So I'll come down here and make one more mark. And now we're going to snap a line. Okay, so now I'm just snapping this line. I'm putting it on both sides. So I got it on here and it's on down there. All right, so now that I know that we're on, now I'm going to snap my line. Okay, so if I put a joint on there, you can see I'm gonna get three full boards and I'm gonna have a small piece here. It will be the same over there. And just so that you know, I'm gonna show you. All right, so if you come down here with the camera, you'll see I'm pretty close to uh, being on the joint on the line there, right there, and then down here. Same thing, right? So I have the wall, I have the hallway centered right now. So I'm gonna have a small piece on both sides. I don't like that. I don't like that. I want to grow that piece bigger. So I need to do a half a plank. I can move this a half a plank over. Now this is the only math that you really need to do. Everything else can just be either written down as you go or you um, can just use your tape measure and I'll show you that. So seven and a half. Okay, so my plank is seven and a half inches wide and that is why I'm dividing mine by two and getting three and three quarters. Your plank is gonna be different probably than mine. You're probably gonna have five inches, six inches, whatever that is. Just get the measurement of your plank you divide that in half and now we're going to move that over the half a plank. If you take seven and a half and you divide that by two, you're going to get three and three quarters. So seven and a half divided by two is three and three quarters. 
I want to move this line three and three quarter inches that way. That's the half a plank. Now I'm going to do this real quick. I'm just going to draw my lines and then I'm going to show you so that you really understand what I'm trying to do here. Okay, whoa, Joe, let's stop there a second. Okay, I want to, I want to stop right here because I really want to drive this home and not get you wondering, okay, why that side of the line? So let's go through this and talk about this a little bit. So I made the mark, I'm making the mark on this side of the line and then we're going to figure out where the plank ends. But I'm just going to let you know that it does not matter if you measure from this side, the three and three quarter, or from the line going to this side. Either way. And again, three and three quarters is my measurement. That doesn't mean that's going to be your measurement. But I just really wanted to stop and let you know that it doesn't matter if you measure to the right of the line or to the left of the line. Either way, you're still going to get the same result. So I thought I'd stop and let you know that. So here, let's watch. If I move this over a half a plank, which is right there about, now that is what I mean. You see how I grew both sides. Now instead of having like an inch piece, I'm gonna have a four and a half inch piece on both sides pretty close to that instead of an inch. So when I say that we need to move this over a half a plank and I divide that plank, the seven and a half inches divided by two is three and three quarter. And then I move that line over. That is what I'm talking about. So to save you confusion, that's all I'm doing is trying to grow the plank so that we have a bigger piece because if we center it, it's going to have a small piece. If I was going to leave this like this, and I come with me, Zach, and I was going to go into this bedroom, now what would happen is something that I want to avoid is if this stuck out an inch right there, and that's where the seam was, I would then have to wrap this plank around both sides of this jam at one time. And I really don't want to do that because it's a pain in the butt. Now by me moving this over the half a plank, now my plank is going to end up being about halfway in the door. It's better to end a plank in, inside a doorway, the long part of the joint, than trying to go around the whole door jam with one plank. That's another reason why you want to adjust your hallway. Okay, if you're installing transitions, then this isn't even going to matter to you on what I just showed you because you're going to be able to avoid that anyway. This video is more for geared towards the DIYer who wants to install their plank without using transitions. And that is how I do it on all my installations. So that is why I wanted to share this info with you to help you be able to not run into situations like this and get yourself into a mess. Anyway, here, let's watch. Okay, so you can see how beneficial it is going to be for you to base your installation off of the hallway. It's going to give you the best look down that hallway where you have the same size plank on both sides, where long skinny hallways, it's just going to look fantastic. It's going to look beautiful. It's going to look professionally done. And along with that, you're also going to avoid having issues where you are not, where you are controlling not having a plank end on both sides of a wall through a door jam. You're also going to be able to now make sure that you end a plank somewhere in the door jam where that's going to really help you later on where you don't just run into a situation like that. Now you know what to look for. Um, it, it's also, again, going to really just help you go through now, which I'm going to show you in the next videos, on how to go and make sure the rest of your layout is going to work out nicely too. Now I do have a playlist at the end of this video that you should click on that is going to bring you to the rest of the videos in this where to start series that I have. And again, this applies to laminate and a vinyl plank. I also want to show you that if you have some more questions and you really need some help and want some guidance, I do have a members area on my website and it's called Laminate University. And again, this is for laminate and vinyl plank. What really would be um, 
vital for you is this installation blueprint now if you send me your drawing i'll do a custom installation blueprint for your plank installation i'll walk you through everything step by step show you where to start talk about plank direction with you i'll help you and guide you through the steps that you need to take to get into one room and move into another i'll point out some things that you'll have to look out for and i'll show you how to do them all through this screencast here's a sample of a screencast right here that i did for a member so if you um, are interested go to laminate university the link is below um, to click on to come and check this out and you can see what else is involved here I, again I'll point you to the videos that you'll need to watch you can make a timeline of your video so that you can just click on that at the time of that video where we're going into different parts of rooms while you're doing your installation to make it easier for you just to go and to click on that spot so you don't have to watch the whole video again um, really a great tool here that I've put into Laminate University and made available to you. So go check that out. Okay, with all that being said, I'll see you at the next video. I'm Joe Latender. God bless you. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. That's how you do that. Can I burn that one that one? No, yeah. it's fine. Just <laughs> act normal. Okay, I'm sorry. I would have left that. <laughs> that was like perfect acting. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, so that's... Lindsay, <laughs> <laughs> just do like you said you were going to do. Okay, alright, alright, alright. That was going to be good. You got to try it. Louder. He wants your enthusiasm. <laughs> So that's how you do that. Okay. Do a couple more times. Nothing. I want you to just do it a couple more times so I got a few takes of it. So that's how you do that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> couple more. <laughs>